Have you seen all over the internet uh, projects that involve putting together various cane slices to form a pattern or something like a mosaic or even like a painting? Why don't we start making some canes that would be perfect for this type of project? Today, let's make some feather canes with Skinner blends. First, I am going to make a Skinner blend of two colors plus white. I am using here blush, but as it is not made by Polyform anymore, try the color mix recipe on the screen instead. In this type of canes, you want sometimes to divide the two colors in the Skinner blend by inserting white, as that will give more definition to the Skinner blend and will also make your canes pop out more. I am first mixing, like for a regular three color Skinner blend. Then I will be dividing in half my Skinner blend. The first half I will try to keep it as narrow as possible. By repeated folding on the tile and narrowing the strip with my fingers, then passing it through the pasta machine on the thicker setting, as many times as needed until I get my Skinner blend defined nicely. Calculate for a strip of about 1 inch width on the thickest setting on your machine. The second half of my Skinner blend, I will simply run it through the machine in length to obtain a very long defined gradient. Now let's do the feather. I will be using a sheet of black clay on a fairly thin thickness setting on the machine. I used here a 7 on the makings. Then using something that is of about the same width as your strip, cut equal pieces both of the Skinner blend strip and of the black sheet strip. Use an acrylic block or a tile to create the feather. Place first a piece from the Skinner blend. Place the black piece overlapping it a bit at the base. Continue placing the pieces alternately so that the new one starts at the base of the stack and folds over the stack as you place it. If you want to make a cane that looks more like a leaf than like a feather, then place a black piece only every two or three Skinner blend pieces. That is practically what differentiates the feather canes from the leaf canes, the number of veins or insertions of thin sheets of another color than the base.
Reduce your cane a bit. Then cut it in half, like so. Place one of the halves on the black sheet of clay. Trim to size. Put together the halves with the sheet in the middle. Start reducing. Only after you have reduced some, wrap it into a sheet of black clay. It is not advisable to wrap it before reducing, uh, as the edges of the black wrapping would stay behind, so to speak, and you will have a lot of clay wastage. the second type of Skinner Blend Feather, cut your lengthened out strip the same as you did for the tricolored one. Then start placing the slices the same way, starting on one end and continuing down the strip alternating with the black slices. Pay attention on placing the pieces in the same direction for better continuity of the gradient. Then reduce Cut in half Place a central vein Put together And reduce the same as for the first one Oh, 
sew the same as for the first one, do not wrap until you have reduced some your feather cane. So I hope you enjoyed this specific Skinner Blend Feather and we'll make more!